Hi everyone, Curtis here. I'm the uh, head of client services at iQuant. And I spend a lot of time talking to our clients about how you can improve your website with some subtle changes to redirect user attention to the most important spots on your design. So today I want to show you just a few of the easiest things you can do to influence user attention on your site and improve your design. Uh, these tips are based on extensive data about the way that people view websites. And these three tweaks are pretty basic but they'll give you a nice foundation for becoming uh, an expert attention hacker. So first things first though, uh, if we're going to try and affect which parts of the page stand out and grab users' attention, we first need to decide what we actually want people to see. A good way to do this is to ask yourself, if your users only see three bits of content on your page, what would you want them to see? So we often call that a wish map. I'm going to say uh, that term quite a lot today. And as a starting point, I recommend optimizing your design so that people will immediately see what the page is about, why the user should care, and where they should go next. Now, in order to direct attention to these areas, we need a way of measuring which parts of the page are most attention-grabbing. So we're, of course, going to use iQuant for this. For those of you who don't know, iQuant is an artificial intelligence that instantly predicts which content on a design will visually stand out and attract users' attention when they arrive on the page. So here you can see an example of how accurate it is compared to running an eye-tracking study. So it's a really powerful tool. Now, by directing attention towards the content uh, in your wish map, and using iQuant to measure the effect of these changes, you can get some really great performance improvements. For example, Groupon used this approach to increase the conversion rate on a landing page of theirs by 52%. What you're seeing right now are before and after screenshots of the page with the iQuant perception map. We're going to use the perception map a lot today as well. The perception map predicts which content users are most likely to see in the first three seconds of landing on the page. This is the most attention-grabbing content on the design. So the big question now is how do we actually affect the perception map? What can we do to direct attention towards our most important stuff? To get from the before shot to the after shot, where do we start? So that's where our three basic attention hacks come in. Let's dive in. The first one I want to show you is contrast. By adding color contrast or luminance contrast around important content, you'll increase the likelihood of people noticing it. Let's look at an example. Here's a landing page for progressive insurance. And I just chose this page at random, but let's try and mark up our own wish map here. This is where the page tells us what it is that it's actually selling. So this is insurance, uh, and that's our what. Here we see it's telling us uh, we can save money uh, by shopping here. So that's definitely the part that explains why we should care about this website. And finally, this button here says get a quote, and that's where we're supposed to go next. So there's our wish map, those three pieces of information. If we look at the perception map, we can see that users are noticing the hero shot right away, and they look at the box on the right, but the most important message doesn't seem to be grabbing users right away. On top of that, the button isn't standing out either. So in this case, I'm going to use contrast in two areas to try and improve the visibility of these two elements. Here's a new version that I just quickly mocked up myself. The first thing I did is I changed the color of the main text here where it says average savings of $519, insurance that delivers, uh, to a gray instead of the orange because there's a greater contrast against the white background. Now, where there was a, um, a blue button on a blue background, I changed that to the same orange color that I removed from uh, the headline. So now we've got orange on blue instead of blue on blue, and there's a little bit more contrast there, and it should stand out more against its surroundings. So let's take a look and see how well it worked. All right, already we can see a major improvement. Users immediately see the value proposition, they see the word insurance, and they see the get a quote button. Of course, we always recommend A-B testing your new version whenever possible, but if our assumptions were right when we decided on our wish map, this should perform better than the original version. The second attention hack I want to cover today is um, how you can alter the placement of content on the page to draw attention to important stuff. Um, our team has analyzed massive amounts of eye tracking data looking for patterns in the way that people look at websites. And one of the things we've proven is that people are biased towards the top left of the page, at least in websites written uh, in languages that read from left to right. So generally, by placing content closer to the top left of the page, we can increase the chances of people seeing it right away. Here's a landing page for GetResponse. It's an email marketing software. Uh, one more time, let's decide on a, a wish map for this page. So remember, we want to direct people to three pieces of information, and we're looking for the part that says what this page is about, why should a user care, 
and where should they go next? The headline here tells us what the site's about. It's email marketing. And this part here tells us why we should care, because it will allow us to create emails and newsletters very fast. And finally, one of these two buttons will take the user uh, where they're supposed to go next. So let's look at the perception map for this page. Right away, users are looking at the picture on the left. They're looking at the logo. They're looking at the benefits. The headline and the buttons, however, aren't standing out as much. So basically what I've done with this mock-up is swapping the position of the pictures and the actual uh, information about the product. So here, um, the key information about what, what this page is about uh, is closer to the top left than it was before. That's all we've really changed. If we look at the perception map now, we can see that the results uh, are really good. We've got a nice improvement already. Um, there's more focus on the headline, the calls to action are more visible, and the image is still getting a lot of attention. Now, maybe actually it's still getting more attention than is ideal, but with further tweaks, especially with contrast, we could improve even further on that. Now, the last of the three basic attention hacks I want to talk about today is removing distractors around key content. So, uh, users have a very limited attention budget. They only have so much to give, and less distraction means more focus on key information. So here's another example landing page. Uh, this is a, a, an e-commerce page where you can buy some limited edition Chuck Taylor shoes. Uh, so all, as always, let's pick out our, our wish map. The picture of the shoe shows us what we're actually buying. Uh, you could also argue that the product title conveys this information. Um, the text to the right explains what's special about these shoes and why you should want to buy them. And at the bottom, you have the Add to Cart button. So that's where users ideally would go next after this page. So let's look at the perception map for this page as it is. Here we've got that the shoes are being seen right away. No surprise there. The button also seems to be pretty visible, which is great. But it looks like people aren't really noticing the benefits right away. Um, we do have a lot of attention at the same time on logos above the shoes. And these aren't super relevant to the shoes themselves. For example, we've got a lot of attention on the Vans logo and the Herschel logo. Uh, this is not what we're looking at. This is a different brand of shoes than we're seeing on the page. So um, not a great result in that sense. Uh, also, you've got a navigation here on the left that is somewhat redundant. You can't get anywhere in this navigation that you can't get with the top navigation. Um, so uh, perhaps we could, we could take this out to, to create a little bit more white space there. Um, and that's basically what I've done with this mock-up. The logos are gone, the side nav has been removed, uh, and I've moved the title over to give a little bit more white space around that benefits section that explains why these shoes are cool. And the difference that this makes for attention is pretty big. There's now much more focus on the benefits of buying these shoes, and users are spending less time looking at content that's not relevant to them going ahead and, and completing a purchase here. So these are our three attention hacks. To summarize, uh, the three hacks were to increase contrast on key information, to move high-value content to prime real estate towards the top left of the page, and to remove distractions surrounding key content. Now, I'd love for all of you to be able to try this out yourself. So if you don't have an iQuant subscription yet to measure the effect of your changes, I'm going to offer you a special one-time account with five free credits. All you have to do is send me an email and tell me which of the three hacks was your favorite. That's curtis at iQuant.com. Just shoot me an email and we'll set you up. Bye now.